All right, the carburetor is all assembled. Now all that's left to do is to make the adjustments. This fuel system service instruction worksheet has listings of adjustments for all applications. Our particular application right here, 87 Jeep, 360 engine. These numbers are float level. We already adjusted that to 21 64ths. The accelerator pump rod position, if position C, that's where we have it. What's left are four more adjustments, only one of which actually is a, uh, one is not really a numerical adjustment. You just line up the notch for the choke cover. So we're left with three adjustments. The choke pull down, the fast idle cam, and the unloader adjustment. What do you do to adjust each of those? Let's just write those down first. Okay, so I wrote down my figures. Choke pull down, 118 thousandths of an inch. Fast idle cam, 76 thousandths of an inch. Unloader, 420 thousandths of an inch. How do I make this into a fraction that matches the drill set I have in order to adjust it based on one of these as my gauge? Well, that's over one inch. It's going to equal something 64 64ths of an inch. You can multiply both sides by 64. It's going to cancel that out. And I'll just have to m multiply 64 times 118, or 0.118, to get my fraction of 64 ths. So 64 times 0.118 equals 7.552 64 ths. 7.552 64 ths. I don't have a 7.552 64 ths bit. I do have something pretty close. I do have a 1 8 inch drill bit. That's going to be the measurement I use. So the adjustment procedure. Turn choke 90 degree rich temporarily, then close choke valve by releasing fast idle can. So I turn this choke cover counterclockwise so that the spring inside is trying to richen it up as much as possible. I open this to release the fast idle cam so it's not on the fast idle cam. Then I'm going to apply a vacuum source to this diaphragm. That's going to pull back, pull back this lever, which is going to open the choke. So what we're measuring is the opening here, the distance between this plate and this wall. You do that by dropping a drill bit down there, touching the wall. No, oh, it's a little out. To adjust it, there's a quarter inch drive screw inside the end of the vacuum brake unloader, whatever they want to call it. So I put that down in there and I adjust it. So it just is going to touch. That's just about it. Here we go. Feel a little scraping. Choke pull down adjustment external. That is accomplished. Okay. Next, the fast idle cam. Late models. Turn choke cover 9 degree rich. Already done that. Open throttle by moving throttle lever to position. Fast idle screw on high step of cam. So, you open the throttle and then push the lever down so that it's on the high step. If you're not familiar with chokes, there's a couple of steps on this, this part of the throttle. So when you open it, it allows this to go a few different steps. So it starts on the highest, and then goes down gradually until the choke 
is wide open. High idle is the highest there. So that's on the, there we go. So open throttle by moving throttle lever to position fast idle screw on high step. Apply outside vacuum source, already doing that. Followed by open, open throttle to permit fast idle cam to release second step and fast idle speed to align with speed screw to align with the V mark on the cam. There is it's horribly hard to see on this image, but right there, it's a little V. There's a little V over here. I don't know if you can see it right there. You want that screw, the fast idle screw, to be sitting on that V. That's where the fast idle cam adjustment is made. How do we adjust it? If adjustment is required, turn fast idle screw to align with V mark on the cam. What are we going to be measuring? We're going to be measuring the distance. Again, what are we going to be measuring? We're measuring now 0.076. So what is 0.076 times 64? What do we got? 0.076 times 64 equal 4.864. We're rounding that up to 5 sixty-fourths. 5 sixty-fourths. Do I have a 5 sixty-fourths drill bit? I do. My second smallest bit is a 5 sixty-fourths. There we go. Which is that? Which is going to adjust that? That's going to be adjusted by that screw right there. What way is it going to adjust to go close more? I think if I back it off, it's going to close it more. Here, in, indeed, it will. So, what? Oh, much too much. So, with some pressure on there, turn it the other way. There we go. Five sixty fourths. Final adjustment. What's our final adjustment here? That's going to be the unloader adjustment. Okay. Moving things around. We don't need the vacuum pump anymore. Now we have to adjust the unloader. So we open the throttle wide open. And that opens the choke plate, as you notice. We have to push a little, put a little pressure on the choke plate toward the closed position. Some models it says open uh, measure between the upper plate and the wall. Ours, I think it's just going to measure at the bottom of the plate. It's calling for 420,000. As we've seen, just multiply that by 64 and you get it in Inch, fractions of an inch, sixty-fourths of an inch, so 420 times 64 equals no, 0.420 times 64 equals 26.88. Let's round up 27 sixty-fourths. Now, sometimes a drill set will have a conversion and then you can just find the closest fraction of an inch. So what's the closest to 0.420? 27 64ths. Multiple ways. You get the same answer. So when we open this all the way, open that throttle all the way, and take back some pressure, there's what we're going to want 420 thousandths. And, don't know if you can see that, thing of beauty. Just about exactly what I have. Yep, I don't have to make any adjustments. That is it. One final thing. This shield sits in the front here. Took it off. Well, time to put it back on. How's that?
How's it going? Ah. Goes vertically like this. You'd think the writing would be horizontal, but no. It's vertical. And my impromptu nut driver. Tighten it down snug. That was something you could easily strip out. There we go. Voila. This carburetor should be ready to go on. I'm not going to get a chance to put it on for a few days. I've got to do some things to the intake manifold though. I don't want to forget. I want to adjust this choke back to its Y notch. Then tighten it. There we go. Tighten down those choke screws. Choke cover screws. Now, now, now we are done. Now, it's ready to go on. It should run, should run well. That's it. There's other carburetors that are more complicated, others that are more simple. But a 2150, in the middle of the road. Alright, thanks for watching.